What is the appeal then of now these days with, you know, album sales are going down, but compilations are up? You get all the hits on one album, end of story. It's, it was as simple as it was 30 years ago. It's why people have loved them for 30 years. If you bought no other albums or no other music, but just went out and bought all the now albums, you'd have pretty much every big hit song from the last 30 years. And that's it, job done, really simple. Neil, did you have a favorite now at all? Now, I bought the first one because I just left university in 1983 and it was a revelation. Oh my God, instead of having to buy song from here and a song from there or taping the top 40 and trying to cut out the DJ in the middle like people used to, just go and buy the Now album and you had all the hit songs in one place for what was a really cheap price and actually what is really good value now still. Have you got a favourite song from the Now, any of the Nows really? <laughs> That is like saying, what's my favourite child? I mean, that's 30 years of big hit songs. <laughs> You're going to have to push it. Go on. Um, oh, I don't know. Look, uh, oh, no, I can't. Rick Astley, anything? Rick Astley, never going to give you up? No, he's one of my work colleagues. We played him this morning, actually. We played Rick Astley, never going to give you up. So that was a 1987, now whatever that was, probably about now 15, that was probably out on. But, you know, there have been so, it's just been all the big hit songs for 30 years. So even if you're an adult now, if, an, if, an, if, you, if you're a space alien and you want to know what is pop music? If you had a collection of all the Now albums, all 85, that is pop music.